This plugin right here for Premiere Pro and After Effects is the single most productive plugin that you can ever download in your editing career. It's honestly helped me double my editing speed and eliminate all distractions so that I can just stay focused and finish my work as fast as possible. What's up guys, my name is Devin Nguyen, welcome to 11% Tutorials. Today I'm going to be going over the new plugin that we just released, it's called Lock-In. Honestly, I'm really stoked this is finally out. We spent so much time, effort, and energy working on this, making sure it's actually useful and something that can actually help editors stay more productive. Essentially what Lock-In is, it's a plugin that combines a bunch of editing tools and methodologies all together in one, so it makes it super easy to stay disciplined, stay focused, and then also help you edit faster, all while making it fun and like a video game. Let's get straight into what it is, how to use it, and how you can double your editing speed. So once you download it, you're first gonna get a .zxp file that looks like this. And to basically install this, you have to go to ascripts.com and first install the ZXP slash UXP installer. Now this is completely for free, don't trip, you don't gotta pay for anything. Just make sure you download it for Mac or if you're on Windows. Then once you have it installed and you open ZXP installer, you're gonna see this like homepage and it's really, really simple. You actually just take this, drag it and drop it right here. I already have it installed, so I'm not gonna drop it. But yeah, then it's gonna ask you to install it, just hit install and boom, there you go. Now you can see in my Premiere Pro tab, I have eight extensions right here and then if you do the after effects one it'll also show up there then what you're going to do is you're going to quit your premiere pro you're going to close it out and reopen it if you're already open in premiere pro now that we have premiere pro back open we've already installed lock-in to access it you're just going to simply go to window click extensions and then you should see it said lock-in pr that's the test version right there i'm going to click lock-in pr version and boom, ta-da, we have lock-in loaded up. What I'm gonna actually do first is I'm just going to put this in my actual project panel. So to do that, I'm just going to click and hold the, the lock-in text and you can see wherever I hover, it'll let me uh, drag it. I'm gonna put it right here. Lock-in was uh, designed to be for this tab right here, this like effects tab on the right if you're using the default settings of Premiere Pro. So it's perfectly spaced out for this layout, but of course you can adjust it um, to your liking and whatnot. So now that we have lock-in, nice and set up right here we're going to first go to our settings icon and you of course have to activate it with the license key when you bought it so what you're going to do is you're going to go to the email that you got on your download it should show you a license key if you don't see that or didn't get that email make sure to reach out to us here at info at 11percent.net we try to respond to all questions as fast as possible basically enter that license key right here and hit activate and the theme should activate so first and foremost lock-in is a productivity tool it has a pomodoro timer which is its main functionality and feature if you don't know what a pomodoro timer is it's basically a work methodology that consists of 25 minutes of work and a five minute break. It's designed to help you stay focused and productive and avoid burnout. To activate it, all you literally do is you just hit this play button right here and ta-da, it's, it's going. And honestly, it's really cool. Um, once it gets a break, it'll let you know that you're on a five minute break. And once you hit the pause button, the unlock icon right here will be unlocked. And once you hit the play button, you'll be locked in, hence the name. <laughs> So yeah, the goal here is basically to just do as many sessions as possible. There's always gonna be a new inspirational, motivational quote right here. It takes 10 years to become an overnight success. Remember that, remember that. And then right next to that, you're gonna have your stats. And this stats is actually really important because this allows you to access and view your points. So you can see right here, this will let you know your daily streak, how many minutes you actually locked in for, how many sessions you've completed, and then of course, how many points that you have. Now, what are points you might be asking? The reason that makes lock-in different from just being an average Pomodoro timer built in Premiere Pro is that we actually gamified your editing process. So you can see right here, I'm gonna skip over here to the shopping cart icon and and this is very important because it allows you to access the theme shop. And now in the theme shop, this is one of my favorite parts of the plugin. It allows you to unlock different themes for lock-in and essentially make your layout look like other video games. Right now we have only three video games, but we have plans to expand. If you have any other ideas and any other video games you think we should add to this, definitely make sure to send me an email or DM on Instagram. I love to hear your guys' thoughts. Each theme requires a certain amount of points and you can see right here, if I go back to my stats, I have zero points right now. So I actually can't get the Minecraft or the Animal Crossing one. But earlier this week I did lock in and I got the Super Mario theme and once you unlock the theme, um, this will light up blue, you can unlock it and if you hit apply, 
Ta-da, your lock-in layout now looks like a video game. One of my most favorite features of the lock-in plugin. The whole point is to make your editing process fun and make you feel like you're you're playing a video game. And of course, everything is the exact same. The layout is the same. And if you want to switch back to your default theme, you can of course do so by just clicking apply on the default theme and ta-da. Now moving on to one of the other core big features of lock-in. Now you may have seen this in the ads or the videos. This is the anti-rewatch filter. Now this plugin is actually built around the idea that many video editors actually waste a lot of time re-watching their content and clips and there's actually one really simple easy solution to fix this so that you don't waste your time re-watching already edited completed portions of your edit so that you can just keep moving forward what we created is an anti rewatch filter well we didn't create it we automated it and we made it also a lot easier so that you don't have to force yourself to be disciplined most people think that discipline and willpower is a skill that you just build up and just have infinite amount of but in reality our willpower is more like a resource that can be exhausted and used up. So here's how the anti rewatch filter works. So let's say I just finished this first part of my edit. I'm really happy with it and I don't want to waste any more time rewatching it. So what I can do to just keep reminding myself that I've already finished this is using our anti rewatch filter. Anything before my playhead right here, I've already completed. So what I would do is I'll make sure I'm selected on the before tab. You can select any color you want. I choose purple just because that's a really easy, bright color to remind me. And when I hit apply, Boom, ta-da, you're gonna see we have a purple anti-rewatch filter applied. And if I go over that area, now there is a purple lock on my screen. And when I see this purple lock on my screen, I'm like, oh, I'm already done with this, I can move on. And of course, this is just a layer, so you can expand this to whatever portion you've already finished editing. But this is essentially just a really easy way to just remind yourself and also lighten the load on the discipline and amount of willpower that you have to enact each time. So that all you have to do is just hit apply and then makes it really, really easy. Of course, if it's after the playhead, you can also do the same thing and then just extend. And yeah, that's essentially how the anti-rewatch filter works and these anti-rewatch layers will apply on the topmost layer of your project so if you're selected all the way up to layer four it'll be on layer five if you're on layer five it'll be layer six and so on yeah of course you can go ahead and make your own filter layers by going ahead and making your own shape layer adjusting the size making sure it's positioned correctly adjust the opacity change the color do all that or you can just go ahead and hit this apply button and lock in and boom automatically applied so essentially lock in is here to make stain discipline super easy so there you guys have it that's how you use lock-in super simple super easy if you have any questions feel free to reach out to us here at info at 11 or you can dm us at instagram we'd love to answer all your questions also let us know if you have any new suggestions on any new video game themes that we should release for the plugin we'd love to hear you guys thoughts anyway stay productive and happy editing peace